um, this morning I um, I did walking meditation with the children. And although they did not um, seem to to practice, uh, they did not look uh, serious in the walking meditation, but they really enjoyed. Uh, we were able to create a pure land during the walking meditation. Everybody enjoyed. We were free enough in order to touch the beauty of uh, of the environment and in us. And uh, the pure land is not something in the distant future. The, dist- the pure land can be touched in the here and the now. And the teaching of the Buddha can even be offered to the children. They, uh, more than 25 years of teaching in the West, I realized that children can understand very deeply the teaching of the Buddha, like impermanence, uh, non-self, and uh, interbeing. Uh, when I talk to the children about a cloud can never die, they understand. Uh, they can see that the cloud can only be transformed into the rain or into the snow. And when you hold your uh, glass and you drink your tea, uh, you can see that you are drinking clouds. And if, if you look into a river, you see nothing but cloud. And if you eat your ice cream in mindfulness, in wisdom, you see that you are eating cloud also. So these things are perfectly understandable to children. And uh, I think uh, uh, Buddhism, according to our studies and practice, can go perfectly with the modern science. And uh, scientists and the Buddhist uh, practitioners can collaborate in order to dig uh, deeper into the nature of reality. And hopefully by that collaboration, we can help remove uh, more misunderstanding, more wrong perceptions, in order to give uh, peace and uh, brotherhood uh, uh, another chance. <laughs> 